Dedek TV KPM You are now watching level 2 or tahap 2 on Dedek TV KPM for the subject science DLP and today we're learning about microorganisms. All right, Mr. Q? Yes. Let's begin. So, thank you, Sean. Okay. So now in this segment, we are going to talk about uh, the life processes of microorganisms mm -hmm. and all together there are three life processes that we are going to talk about today but what is better than doing some activities together right oh yeah <laughs> okay so basically there are three the, the three processes are microorganisms breathe mm -hmm. microorganisms move mm -hmm. and microorganisms grow ah, uh, okay. so now we are going to do the first activity which is about microorganisms brief okay okay so what we have here is um, a filter funnel mm -hmm. sugar okay yeast mm -hmm. and a warm pot, uh, warm water in this bottle okay okay please bear in mind that we need to make sure that the water is warm and not too hot or too cold okay okay so let us Start the experiment now. All right. Okay. Hey, not to forget, we actually have a balloon. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> Are we having a party? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So first, first step is let's mm -hmm. open the bottle cap together, okay. Sean. And students at home, you also have the apparatus or and the materials needed to do this uh, experiment. So let's do it together, yeah. Okay. So let's do it now. Take off the take off the water bottle cap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, we're going to put, place the filter funnel inside the bottle. Oops, okay, just like, like that. Yes. All right. And then using this spoon, mm -hmm. uh, you have a spoon here too. Yes, that's okay. right. Okay, take two tablespoons of sugar and yeast. Okay. Okay, All right. and let's do it together now. Okay, so sure. you, you can take the yeast first, I this can one? take the sugar, yes. Okay, so two tablespoons, yeah? Yes, and place it inside the uh, water bottle. So the amount is the same for both yeast and sugar? Yes, you okay. can use the same amount. So two tablespoons of uh, sugar and yeast. Okay, okay, pupils at home, please do the same too, yeah? Okay. Okay, so this is sugar right. for you. Thank you so much. The yeah. yeast is over there. Okay. Mm, I'm so. actually quite interested to find out what's going to happen here. Yeah. So it's going to put yeast. Huh? For your information, student, uh, pupils at home, so yeast is actually a type of fungi, which is also a microorganism, yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So done. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do now, remove the filter funnel. Okay. Ooh. And cover the bottle first. Okay. And give it a slight shake. Ah, all right. So this is soft yes. one. Yes. Yeah. So make sure it is uh, shake properly, lah, thoroughly. Okay. Okay. Once done, we remove the bottle cap. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Just to ensure. <laughs> okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. after that, let's place this balloon. You have okay. a balloon as well. Yes. Blue in color. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's place the balloon right on top of the bottle. Ah. Okay. So let me just stretch it out first. Yes. Make sure it is covered properly. Yeah. So, because we do not want anything to leak out later on. Okay. okay. And Pupils at home, I please do it. so too. Yes, Anis, Humaira, you're doing a good job. Hmm. Is this correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, now let us place this, uh, what do you call? This water bottle at the side of the table. So, just leave it. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll come back after 15 minutes. All right. Uh, approximately 15 minutes at the end of the session to see mm -hmm. what happens. Ooh, all right. Okay, so moving on to our second activity. Mm -hmm. So the second activity is about microorganisms move. Oh. So in order to see a microorganism, we know that we can't see it through our naked eye, right? Anna? Yes. Because it's nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I've already collected a, water, a sample of water, mm -hmm. which is from the lake. Ah, uh, okay. So the water from the lake or the pond usually consists uh, microorganisms. All right. Okay. So what we are what we are going to do today is we're going to observe the microorganisms through this microscope. Ah. All right. <laughs> okay. So first of all, mm -hmm. we're going to take this. is a glass slide. Okay. Can all I right. Hold that for us for a while. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks very thin, so I'm not sure if uh, those who are watching are able to see that. Uh, clearly. 
But okay. I think this is what they usually use uh, in the labs, right? Yes, okay. this is a glass light. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, hold on. Okay. okay, so this is the glass light. Secondly, we use this dropper okay. to take some of the water from the pond, mm -hmm. squeeze it, and drop it. Okay. Just one, uh, one drop will do. Yes. Okay. Ah, okay, so not too much, just one drop. Yes, one drop will do. And then we'll use this cover slide over here. Mm -hmm. So this is the cover slide. We'll place it on top of the glass slide. Ah, just like that. And I notice that it's very, very thin. So for those of you who are at home watching this, if you want to do this, make sure you have the supervision of your... Because this glass can crack easily and you might hurt yourself. Yes, exactly. Sean, thank you for reminding. Next, we're going to place this glass slide on the stage of the microscope. So this is a microscope. Mm -hmm. This is the stage of the microscope. Okay. Okay, so we're going to place it here mm -hmm. and we're going to clip it. The reason why I clip it is so that the slide doesn't move left or right. Ah, okay. Uh, so it's steady. All right. St sturdy, yeah? So moving on, we are going to okay. try to look it through the, uh, through the microscope, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, from here I see that it is still not mm -hmm. clear. Therefore, we are going to move. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we are going to move the objective lens. So, okay. this is the objective lens. So, we have three objective lenses yeah. with different zoom, zoom abilities. Ah, I see. Uh, okay. So, the longer the rod, mm -hmm. the longer the tube, the higher the zoom quality. Ah, okay. 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 So, by moving this, Mm, so this one, I can move it to the... This is the highest zoom quality. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So we try to look at it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we can see some of it. But in order for it to... In order for us to get a better quality of... Uh, the, the What do you call? Visibility for us to see better? Yes, the image. Okay. So we need to tilt the mirror. So this is the mirror. Okay. So the mirror will uh, reflect light into mm -hmm. the microscope. Oh, so that we can okay. see it better. Okay. So, so this is what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. uh, I I place it on the table, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna move it till mm -hmm. I get a proper picture, and then I can move it left and right to see whether I can get a good look at the microorganisms. Okay. Huh. Sean, yes? would you like to do the honours? Oh yes, so I was just waiting for you to ask me. Okay. So here, so I'm just going to place look. this in front. Okay, let me just move everything here. And then let me just look at this. Oh wow! Can everyone at home also see this? Hmm. Oh. Oh, I think I can see something moving. Yes, that is actually the paramecium. So the paramecium is moving slowly, looking for food. Ooh. But it doesn't eat humans, right? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too small. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. So from here, from this experiment, we can conclude that microorganisms move. Oh, yes. yes. Okay, so now we're going to move to our final, uh, final experiment okay. or the final activity of the day, yeah. which is about microorganisms grow. Yeah. So in front of, yours, for, of us here today, I've brought some food. Mm -hmm. So we have two pieces of bread. Mm -hmm. So one is for you, Sean. Oh, thank you. Am I going to eat it now? Maybe later. Okay. <laughs> so this bread mm -hmm. is uh, the bread, for, uh, it's a, a fresh, fresh bread. Okay. So we, as you can see, there's no mold. Okay. Right in that. Yeah, that's true. Okay, oh. so what you're going to do here is mm -hmm. we are going to help, we, ha we are going to get the micro microorganisms to breed faster. Okay. So what? how to do that? Mm -hmm. We are going to give them some water. Oh, okay. So this, you're going to use this. All right. And I'm going to use this. Okay. And spray on the front and the back of the uh, bread. Okay. So, so here, how many so sprays should that, I put? So before that, you turn it on first. Oh, uh, you okay. must twist it. Okay. All right. Okay. So each side you spray four times. Four times. Okay. okay. So here. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. All right. And, and at the back. On the other side. One, two, three, three four. four. Okay. Oh. So now when it's already properly damped, mm -hmm. you are going to use this Ziploc bag. Okay. 
so I have one. I'll mm -hmm. give you one. I can see also the pupils who are online are also doing the activity with us. And for yes. those of you watching at home, if you have a piece of bread and also uh, maybe something to put yes. water, you yes. can also join in. You just have to sprinkle wa water on top of it. Okay. Okay. So put this bread inside your Ziploc bag. Okay. So here. If we don't have a Ziploc bag, can we use maybe a, um, a normal plastic, plastic bag. bag? As long as it's sealed or...? Yeah, actually, the, the main criteria is to make sure it's sealed properly. Okay. Uh, because it's actually very, uh, what do you call Dangerous, right? Microorganisms. We oh, don't yeah. want the, it to spread everywhere. Okay. Mm. Okay. So here you have it. Mm -hmm. So after five to seven days, mm -hmm. you will be able to see the difference in this bread. Oh, okay. So, but unfortunately, we only have uh, so much time, right? Yes, that's our right. Session. You can't be waiting here for five days. No worries. Uh -huh. I've already instructed one of my students oh. to prepare a short video. All right. Uh, this is not a fake video. This mm -hmm. is actual. It is, is what that actually what ex the, it is the experiment that she really did, mm -hmm. and she recorded on the fifth day and during the seventh day. Oh, let's have a look at that video. Let's go. My name is Anis. Today I will show you my bread for five days. Hi, it's me again, Anis. Today I will show you my bread for seven days. Wow, what an interesting experiment. I saw there's some spots on the bread. Yes. So as you can see, the, the, it grows in this size as well. Okay. So, uh, it's okay. I also actually prepared it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, this is the bread on the fifth day. On the fifth day. Okay. And this is the bread on the seventh day. You can show the camera. Is yeah. there any differences? Can I hold that also? Yes. Thank you. So, this one, the one that's slightly higher is on the fifth day. And the one slightly lower here, this is on the seventh day. Yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so from this experiment, we can conclude that microorganisms mm -hmm. grow. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Good job, Sean. So microorganisms grow. Okay. So thank you, Sean. Um, yep. Now mm -hmm. we are going to look back at our first experiment. All right. Which is about microorganisms breathe, right or not? Yes. So looking back at the experiment now, look at the magic. Oh, I just noticed. <laughs> there is actually okay. the um, the balloon somehow inflated. Yeah. Yes, it inflated. Mine is bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that means mm -hmm. the carbon dioxide level in this balloon is more than the carbon dioxide level in your balloon. I see. Uh, the reason why there is carbon dioxide is because yeast breathes. Okay. And it exhales, when it exhales, it exhales, micro, um, exhales carbon dioxide that inflates the balloon. Ah. ah. Okay. So this experiment prove what? Microorganisms breathe. Ah, all right. Let's have a look at some of the, the what do you call? Has, um, some of the work of the students. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, Zari has already done the experiment. Oh, wow. Oh, his balloon <laughs> is really big. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And we have Alisa, mm -hmm. which also shows that the, uh, the microorganisms breathe. And Anis too, the, uh, shows that the microorganisms breathe. Yes. Mm. So someone, can someone from, uh, from uh, one, of our pup one of my pupils let us know what is the conclusion that you get from this experiment? Can you let us know? Okay, Zari, what is the answer? The answer is the microorganism breathe. Very good. Is that the correct answer? Yes, it is correct. Well done to you. And how many stars shall we give him? We are going to give him three stars. Three stars! Ah, well done! Because they managed to mm -hmm. uh, execute it properly with mm -hmm. guidance and they, they, he knows how to explain it to us. Well That's done why we too. give him three stars. That's right. Excellent job. And of course, a round of applause to all of our pupils who are online right now. Well done to all of you because it looks to me like the experiment is also a success, a success, right? Yes. That's right. Well done for everyone. DDTV KPM.